Good morning, everybody. This is your Overlanding Soldier, and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick switch of your grill here. We're going to change out this old-style OEM Toyota grill emblem here, and we're going to actually replace it with this custom grill that I ordered from customcargrills.com. It's going to look something like that, guys. Stay tuned. So obviously the first thing you want to do is get to take off your grill here. So in order to do that, you're going to pop the hood. Let me see if I can show you. It's going to be like four push tabs that you got to take out. So I don't know if you can see right here. So one is actually going to be right here. You're going to remove that as well as the other remaining push tabs. That'll be your first step. And you can just use like a flathead screwdriver. I've got like these mini screwdrivers here. It might work a little bit better. All you're going to do is get it up under there and kind of just take it to center and pull it up. Once you do that, it just kind of comes out. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble. Like so like that, or to lock it back, you just close it in. Just set those off to the side. There's going to be one in the center here. Or off to the far right, so you gotta get your hand down in there. I've got pretty small hands, so it doesn't bother me much. Um, you know, for some of you bigger guys, it may be a little bit difficult to get in there, but it's pretty much a lot of space to work with. All right, so I've got that second one out. That one came out pretty easy, and just so forth and so on, guys, until you get all five of the push tabs you want to get out. So once you get all, uh, actually with actually six guys, it's going to be six push tabs. Once you get all those out, guys, you're going to take a standard size Phillips head. And you're going to just simply unscrew. Mine's a little bit rusted. Um, hopefully yours is not. But simply just take out the two screws. So you got one here and one here. You got, you know, power tools. It might be a little bit easier. It's not too bad. Got the second one removed. After you do that, guys, if you take a closer look into here, you're going to have like a little push tab that you're going to want to push to the side. Maybe you see that. This right here, you're going to simply push that to the side. It should come out. But you got to push it to the side like so. You see that right there. And it's going to be another one as well down on the other side down here. All right, guys, so once you get that pushed and pulled out, um, the only thing I didn't show you here real quick, you're going to need like a trim re removal piece, and there's three white tabs. You're going to just simply put them in there and pop them out. So I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and take the grill completely off so you can see what we're starting with, guys. So I've got the grill removed. Just find you a good working space. Um, I've used the box that this actually came in just to have a little bit of protective, um, you know, shield under it, not just placing directly on the concrete. All right, so let's take a look at what actually came in the box, guys. You're going to get, obviously, the box and then this nice custom grill.com uh, thing. Pretty much they want you to install it, you know, take a photo and kind of share it with uh, Instagram and social media. But... They're also going to bring you everything you need to install this grill, guys. It's not much. You're going to have a few, like, zip tie type of things. Um, you got these little black pieces here that you're actually going to adhere the new grill to. And then they give you a nice little keychain here. Even some alcohol to wipe off uh, during prep time. So after you make sure you got all the things in your package, there are going to be eight tabs along the grill here that you just got to pretty much apply pressure to. I take a flathead screwdriver or something standard like that and just pretty much flick them, um, push them to get them to come out. Let's see if I can get that first one done there. That one's a little stiff, so. Uh, 
top side's actually pretty good already. I could just actually lift that up. But at the bottom, it's going to take a little bit of work there. So I had to kind of use two hands to get there. I've got one, two, three, and the fourth one will be here. I actually have to use two hands with this. Um, don't be too rough. You don't want to snap your plastic. But you will have to apply a little bit of pressure at a right angle to get that off. All right. And then that old grill is now out. All right. Place that up so like that. Once you, you can go ahead and take the old grill, set it aside. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair. They can recommend a wire clippers or wire cutters or something like that. So I'm going to try this. Hopefully this works to give me a clean cut. What we're going to do is along the area where those eight tabs were, you're going to simply clip those off. You want to get it as close as flush as possible to the uh, frame here so that when you put the new grill in, it can lay flush with it, guys. So um, if you need to have it here for reference, you can. But again, you're going to just simply take those eight areas and clip them off. So let's see how this works. Works good enough. You might have to angle it. Um, just kind of figure out what works best. I'm going to try this here. And it actually works pretty good. I'll probably take a Dremel tool or something to go a little bit closer to the frame of the grill. Or the bumper there. But as far as cutting it, it does pretty good. And you're just going to continue to go until you get all of them off. Uh, so I actually removed the grill, but when I used the wire cutters to take off these tabs here, I didn't get it as clean as I would like to do as far as it's flush. So what I'm going to do real quick is take my Dremel tool and just kind of cut that last few inches off um, just to get it flush as possible. So if you have a Dremel tool, this will be real helpful here. Obviously, you're going to have your ear pro on, eye pro, gloves, and it's just to get a cleaner blush appearance don't go too deep you want to go just enough so it's flush so that's good there and you'll do that for all of them Little cuts at a time, guys. And I'm gonna continue to do that for the rest of the tabs as well, guys. My Dremel tool, and if you can see, it actually came out a lot better than when I just simply used the wire cutters. Like this is where the tabs used to be. I could even clean it up more if I want, but I got it actually flush with the front bumper here. So that's what you want it to look like before you move on to your next step. Next thing you want to do is also cut out your three uh, tabs that you got here. You won't need it. There's two here and one further down on the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that real quick. Um, once you cut that, you're going to then pick up your old mesh grill. And if you can see, um, I use like a platinum Sharpie, guys. I don't know if you can see where I've made that mark. I'm going to make my incisions there. I'm going to simply cut down that line and then keep the ends because we're going to need that after we put the new mesh in. You don't have to use a Dremel for this bit, guys. You can actually use a pair of wire cutters, which I'll probably just use here to preserve energy. Let's pull that one right out. Get a clean cut on that. Same thing with the other one. Okay. 
Once you get one end off, if I can snap the other end off. Now I'm gonna make my incision. Got those parts both removed, guys. And what you're gonna simply do is you're gonna keep these because it's gonna help you secure your new mesh. And then you're gonna take your Dremel tool or some type of sand, whatever you have, sandpaper. And you're gonna actually sand along here. Sorry about that, son, guys. But you want to make sure that this does not have any rough edges like it does here. And so what I'm going to do is take my Dremel tool. I've got a sanding head. I'm going to sand it down a bit. Guys, right, so we got that done. Next thing we're going to actually do is going to be some super easy. You're just going to take an alcohol pad that comes with it. And you're going to pretty much clean any dust and debris outside uh, of this bumper. Sorry, move D. That's Diesel, guys. You know, he always has to send my video. So that's a real easy step. I'm going to do that real quick. And just make sure you clean it out. You don't want any dirt in there, anything to mess with the adhesion. Next thing you want to do is then take your mounting brace that came with it. There's going to be 14 of these guys. And you're going to strategically place them alongside the top and bottom of the bumper. Um, again, there's 14, so I'll do 7 at the top and 7 at the bottom. You just simply stick them on there. Once you get those secure, secure guys, you're going to actually take this automotive goop. Um, they actually sell it on the website. You're going to just take that with a toothpick or something like that or a pencil. I didn't have a toothpick, so I had a pencil. And I'm going to just take a little bit. You're going to apply it to each corner of the mountain brackets you put in. So once you get the adhesive on each side of your mounting bracket, you're going to take the zip ties that came with it. Um, make sure that you keep the tail in and down at the bottom. Don't pull it all the way through. And keep the head in up to the top. This will make it for a quicker install. Look something like this, guys. So I've actually threaded it through but kept the base of it pretty close to the bottom. Um, again, just to make a quicker install once we actually put the new mesh grill on. Guys, now we have the moment we all been waiting on. We're going to drop our new mesh grill into the bumper here. And all you got to do is just, it's going to be pre-cut already. So all you got to do is just make sure that you simply drop it in like so. It should actually be cut perfectly. Only thing you got to make sure you do is that you have the same amount of space on the right side that you ha have on the left side. Um, again, these are pre-cut, so there's not much room to play with as far as it being off-centered. But... It's all you want to do is just make sure you don't have like that, that be too much to the right. And you want to make sure it's even on both sides. Once you do that, you're simply going to take your zip ties and hold them in place. What I would suggest you do is don't zip them tight. Um, just do a loose zip so that if you need to adjust it or something like that you don't have to put yourself in a bind guys here's the finished product I got everything put back together, nice and tight. I think it looks really good, guys. So here's the new grill. And obviously, we switched it out for our old grill. You tell me which one you think looks better. 